Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry alongside Scott Carter. We just saw the Florida Gators defeat Eastern Kentucky 52-3 in what is Will Muschamp's last home game as the University of Florida football coach. Gators announced earlier in the week that Muschamp would not return for the 2015 season. The Gators, the seniors, send him out in style today with pretty resounding victory, especially for the offense guy. Yeah, it was the kind of inning really that the Gators needed during what was a difficult week. I mean, anytime your coach gets fired, that's a tough thing to kind of rebound from a few days later and have a game. And it wasn't really going that well early in the week. Uh, the practices were kind of lull and Muschamp noticed that. So he pulled together the team on Thursday and says, hey, guys, your new coaches are going to be watching these games. It's important for you. And he also shared a story about when he was a player and underwent a, a coaching change. And I think that probably helped behind the scenes. And obviously, we saw a play out in front here at the Swamp today. It had a pretty resounding 52-3 win. You know, it was kind of a weird flow game, but Gators well, outgained them 430 to 142, and that's where we ended here uh, for Will Muschamp. Offensively, the Gators have usually have kind of been kind of imbalanced this week, running game to passing game. Today, it was all passing the game. Jeff Driscoll came off the bench, threw three touchdown passes. Treon Harris threw two, including a 70-yarder Quentin Dunbar to kind of open things up early in the game. No, it was uh, something that we haven't really seen in a while. Jeff Driscoll come in. He looked confident. He looked crisp. He looked sharp. Quentin Dunbar and Demarcus Robinson have both had nice days and played off of that. Treon Harris, uh, much champ revealed later, kind of left the game with a contusion on his knee. It was more of a precautionary measure than anything else. I don't think it's anything serious going into the Florida State game. But it was good to see Jeff Driscoll get out, back out there and kind of re, uh, regain some confidence. And, the passing game looked good for the most part. This is Eastern Kentucky, it's not Alabama. But anytime you put up 52 points, you pass for 326 yards, something's going right. And you have a couple receivers with over 100 yards. You have Quentin Dunbar and you have Demarcus Robinson. Scott, let's turn right away to next week's game, regular season finale at Florida State. The Seminoles have won 27 in a row, and a couple questions were heaved at the players in, in the post-game situation. When was the last time the FSU lost a game? Well, it was when the Gators were there two years ago. Yeah, it was. It was really the signature win under Will Muschamp. 37-26, uh, Jeff Driscoll had a nice day. Matt Jones had a nice day. The defense had a really nice day. I still remember that hit Antonio Morris delivered on E.J. Manuel. Turned the momentum of the game. But guess what? Those three guys are still here. They remember that. Muschamp remembers that. So there's no other way that they would like to uh, send out their coach. I mean, one thing we've learned this week, you know, Regardless of much champs, uh, maybe perception with uh, the fans, this team really likes their coach, and they're going to be playing hard for him over there. There's no better way they can think of sending him out with the victory, and you know it would be a big one. It would be uh, certainly his biggest as a Florida coach. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. And he certainly could not have handled his week a very difficult week any better than he did. Scott Carter, Chris Harry, we'll see you guys next week.